right, so uh, just want to share an idea with you that was first introduced to me in some awkward circumstances. So it was about 2017 and I was in Hawaii visiting my friend TJ. And I got this phone call and basically had a big fight with my dad's now ex-partner. And uh, kind of went, in, went on for about half an hour or 45 minutes. And the main thing I was saying was, hey, he needs assessment. See, there's something going on with him. Take him to the GP, take him to the specialist. Let's find out what's going on. And she was not happy about this. She kept refusing and saying, no, 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 there's nothing going wrong. But there had been multiple incidents that suggested that there definitely was something going on. And I got off the phone and I'm like kind of frustrated. I'm like, God, I think I need to get legal advice. And TJ's like, hey, Tom, lawyers are our friends. And I think from a medical perspective, often as doctors, we have this perception that lawyers are out to get us or, you know, that they, they're, they're suing us and that's their only role. And this was quite a contradictory idea for me. It was like, oh, hang on, lawyers were our friends. It's like, what, what do you mean? It's like, well, they protect us. They're helpful. They're out to do the right thing and make sure that the right thing happens. And in this circumstance, this was definitely true. And it began a trail of lawyers and, and providers in various states as I dealt with the difficulties of the relationship that my father was in and the refusal of his partner to get medical assessment. And so we had lawyers that were involved in going through the case and going to tribunals and then lawyers as it moved up to Queensland and again in tribunals. And then I realized that I was dealing with someone with uh, presumably a mental illness, uh, not diagnosed, of course. But I was like, you know what? This is insanity. This is, this is a fight that will go on. And I realized that I had to let go of control. And so I gave the control of my father's affairs to the Queensland government. Now, this, in retrospect, having seen what's gone on with various 60 Minutes things, this may not have been the greatest idea, but I didn't know anything at that point. I was just like, you know what? You deal with the government. And, uh, and this actually was quite a successful strategy. It was like, okay. And then the government came in and said, no, 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 we'll, we'll take care of your father, we have the, the uh, guardian, the public guardian and the public trustee and we'll take it over. And it worked really well. I was like, great. And then I got a little kicker and it was like, well, your father has to get divorced or there's a divorce proceedings between these two parties, but we don't do that. And so I then had to divorce this partner which was surreal. It was like, oh my goodness, what is this? I'm divorcing this this uh, woman who we do not like very much uh, because in the end we found out that she knew that he had dementia and she hid the dementia from us and it was to change the wheels, all of that kind of classic behavior. So I, I once again came in with lawyers and the lawyers are really awesome. I think, I don't know what the bills were, like 30 or 40 grand. Like quite a lot of money, but excellent service. Excellent. They did a great job, all the forensic accounting, digging up the things. And anyway, in the end of it, there was a divorce. My father got divorced and he stayed in Queensland and then recently he died. And she reappeared. She came to the funeral. I'm like, okay, all right, all right. Now, people started warning me at this point, this is all just to get more money. And then sure enough, two days ago, we got the email saying, hey, I'm in the will. I want more money. And at that point, the lawyer's true value became apparent because both at the divorce time I was like hey what happens with these wills and the lawyers like no it is defined in law that once you are divorced any claim on the will is gone and then again with the lawyers who are dealing with the uh, the will now they're like nope you get nothing go away and so a letter was written to this person to say get 
away even though they had changed the will written in the will then they uh they uh, got a letter saying hey go away so the lawyers are our friends and i've got another one for you which was introduced to me it's fascinating good lawyers are expensive good lawyers are expensive like it's like whoa you guys cost a lot but bad lawyers cost a fortune bad lawyers cost a fortune a little bit like medicine you know good doctors worth their weight in gold bad doctors you know if, if something gets wrong if something gets missed it's it's not great so this has been my experience with lawyers i never thought i would have to deal with so many lawyers <laughs> like seriously i remember in med school they were like no you you will have to deal with lawyers they were referencing a uh, uh, the probability that as a medical practitioner you will have somebody come after you with lawyers but uh, certainly in all of these adventures in looking after my father with dementia there has been more than enough lawyers but I want you to consider this fact that lawyers are our friends that they are on the side of making sure that the right things happen and they're very useful allies if you need them in your life so uh, perhaps giving you as a doctor a frame of reference to reconsider your relationship with the legal profession and say you know what I can see their value certainly for me extraordinary value over the years it's been a long journey and uh certainly looking forward to uh not having so many lawyers in my life going forward all right that's all i got for you i hope you're having an awesome day hope you got some value from this one and i look forward to seeing you on another one very soon catch you soon